Welcome to our third session of our second workshop on conditional indirect effects. This time, we'll be talking about first stage moderated mediation. And this is the agenda for today. First of all, what is this thing? What is moderated mediation models? Then we will show you how to theorize and then test for moderated mediation models. So again, this is a hands-on workshop, a hands-on session. Um, you'll be able to run models on SPSS and use uh, the process macro developed by Hayes. So first of all, what is moderated mediation? In this case, different from mediated moderation, moderated mediation, we theorized about the mechanism. So first is the, what we want to show is that this mediating process that links our independent variable to our dependent variable, that indirect effect varies at different levels of the moderator. Okay? So this is different from um, mediated moderation because with mediated moderation models, we first have a moderation and then we show the mechanisms that connect that interactive term to the dependent variable. At this time, we are looking at the process first, at the mechanism first, and then theorizing that that indirect effect varies at different levels of the moderator. Is that clear? So there are many different um, uh, papers that used mediating uh, process or moderated mediation uh, models, I would say. And if you want to know a little bit more about moderated mediation, uh, there are two papers that are really good, Edwards and Lambert, 2007, and Muller and all, et al., 2005. You can get more information about moderated mediation models. With moderated mediation models, uh, we have two different types, actually three different types of a moderated mediation model. One that's called first stage. The second is second stage moderation or, or moderated mediation models. And the other one is dual moderated mediation models. This last one we will also cover here in our last session of this workshop, um, this dual uh, mediation, moderated mediation models, it's not very, very used in our field, but we needed to cover it uh, for the sake of completeness. Okay? So let's talk about first stage moderated mediation models first. Okay? So what we are looking here is that uh, the mediating process, that relationship between job meaningfulness and job performance mediated by engagement, that relationship is moderated by organization identification. In particularly, the relationship between job meaningfulness and job engagement, that first path is moderated by our organization identification variable. Uh, in this screen, I'm showing you another uh, model that has been published already. And in this particular paper, we theorized that identified ambivalence has an indirect effect on decision effectiveness via contextual awareness. And this first path between identified ambivalence and contextual awareness is moderated by trait self-control. This is a second example. There are many examples that you can find um, in top journals, in journals that um, publish organizational behavior uh, theories. So how do we theorize? How do we go from um, an idea to a paper? So you first I need to theorize about the, this indirect effect, about the mediation model. So the independent variable influences your dependent variable via your mediator. So this is a very similar figure as the one that you saw in one of our initial sessions in the workshop about mediation and moderation. That's a very common, very simple figure. The second step in theorizing about first stage moderated mediation models is to uh, theorize about the interactive relationship 
between your independent variable and your moderator on your mediator. Okay. So you'll need to theorize about the effects of your independent variable on the mediator, and that being a function of your moderator. Finally, you theorized about the whole theoretical model. So you can say, uh, for example, that job meaningfulness influences job performance via um, job engagement, but that indirect effect is a function of your moderator organizational identification. So that's how you theorize about uh, first stage moderated mediation models. And then how do you test for it? So again, it's pretty simple. There are five steps. In the first step, you needed to adopt the current tests for mediation. We covered that in uh, one of our initial sessions in the mediation and moderation workshop. So if you are not familiar with this uh, current test for mediation, please go back and watch that particular session. The next step, the second step, is about the traditional test of moderation of the independent and uh, the independent variable and the moderator on the mediator. Okay. So again, it's a moderation model. Uh, if you have questions, you can go back and watch this session that covers moderation in more depth. What's new here is the step number three. And now we are adopting process and running model number eight. If you recall, uh, we use the same model, model number eight, to test for moderated mediation or mediated moderation. What changes, again, is the theoretical development and the steps before getting to this step three, this process number, model number eight. Okay? So theoretical development and the steps that you get to process model number eight. Those are the differences. Uh, then you run a bootstrapping analysis and uh, look at the index of uh, moderated mediation. Let's do it. Let's run these models. So uh, this is actually the model that we'll be running. And uh, um, again, we are theorizing that job meaningfulness influences job performance via job engagement, and that indirect effect is a function of organizational identification. The first step, the first step, we look at this indirect effect. And uh, we run this model uh, by using the process macro. Again, uh, you click on Analyze, and then you go to Regression. Um, you find the process um, entry here. You just click on that. And then you need it to select model number four. Do you remember when you, we do, when we run mediation models? Most of the time, we use model number four. So that's extremely important. Choose the right model. And then you populate your screen. So you have um, your dependent variable being job performance, independent variable being meaningfulness, and the mediator being engagement. Um, go to options, uh, select the total effect models, and the decibel test as well, just for completeness again. Click on OK. And once you click on OK, you get the results for the indirect effect model. I'm not showing all the results here, all the coefficients here, because we've already covered that part in a prior session. So if you want to see the output for mediation models, go to the session that's ex exclusively about mediation models. And then we move to the step number two. And in step number two, we look for the moderation. We look to see. And we test for uh, the interact effect. Is that interact effect significant, or does it significantly predict the mediator job engagement in this case? Um, go to process, similar, uh, uh, similar steps. And then uh, instead of using number four, model number four, we are adopting number model number one. And that's the reason for that is because we are running a moderation model and not a mediation model anymore. 
So uh, another difference is that our outcome variable will be job engagement, will be our mediator. We have job meaningfulness as independent variable and organization identification as our moderator, as our moderating variable. Uh, don't forget to mean center for the, of the products, to ask for a mean center for products, and also to print the coefficient of um, the model with coefficient covariance matrix. Uh, the reason is because we needed to plot the interaction term, and we need uh, the uh, coefficients that we'll get from this particular table. Click on OK, and you should get the output. Once again, I'm not covering all the coefficients, all the output in this particular session, because we did already in one of our prior sessions on mediation and moderation. If you're not familiar, go back and watch that particular session. You'll get more information, information that can be helpful to you. The, the third step is to run model number eight. And now we are testing for the conditional indirect effect. So we are building on the prior models. Uh, and uh, if those models, you have a significant indirect effect, if you have a significant interaction effect, um, those are initial indications that you may have a conditional indirect effect model. Uh, and now we are testing for this conditional indirect effect model. Go to process, select model number eight. Okay. And here, uh, you have your dependent variable, your independent variable, and your mediator. Mediator is job engagement. Uh, our moderator goes all the way down here to the proposed moderator W. And the reason is that model eight, it's a requirement to have variables or moderators in this W position here. If you put your variable in the wrong place here, you will get an error message. So be careful. You need this model uh, number eight with your moderator on the moderator W. Mean center for the products because you have an interaction term. Don't forget that. And then you can click on OK. And now let's take a look at the output because this is different. Uh, double check, you have the model number eight, so you selected the correct model, uh, and that's extremely important uh, for you. Uh, if you don't do that, uh, then um, you may get uh, results or coefficients that are not um, for your model, so you can get wrong results, basically. Uh, and Let's take a look at the next session. So if you scroll down, now you'll see you have two steps here. Uh, in the first step, we are looking for the effects of the interaction term on our mediator. And the interaction term here is the interaction between job meaningfulness and organization identification. And that interaction term has a significant relationship with our engagement variable, our mediator. So we have some initial evidence for uh, the conditional indirect effect. And then the second step, we look at the relationship between our uh, mediator, job engagement, on our dependent variable, job performance. And here, we do find a significant relationship between engagement and performance. P is less than 0.05. What is also important is that we are controlling for the interaction term, the effects of the interaction term on the dependent variable. Here, the interaction term is exactly the same uh, term, uh, meaningfulness times job uh, organization identification. And we are parceling out that effect uh, on our dependent variable. So the next step is to look at, um, is to look at the bootstrapping results. Okay? And here, we do find that the relationship between job meaningfulness on job performance via engagement okay, is significant only for individuals high in organizational identification. And the reason here, again, we look at the confidence interval of our bootstrapping analysis. And if there is zero in the confidence interval, 
that relationship is not significant. The indirect effect would not be significant. But if there is no zero in the confidence interval, then we do have a significant indirect effect. In this case, for individuals high in organization identification, there is no zero in the confidence interval. So it goes from 0.04 to 0.05. But for those individuals who are low in organization identification, one standard deviation below the mean, uh, we do find that zero in the confidence interval. So the indirect effect is not significant. Uh, the, na the final step is to look at the index for moderated mediation or index of moderated mediation. We see here that the bootstrapping analysis, the confidence interval of that particular index, does not have zero in it. So we also find evidence for a significant conditional indirect effect. In this session, we covered first stage moderated mediation. And we not only described uh, how you should theorize about moderated mediation, but also how to conduct a test on moderated mediation. Thank you.